My name is Dimitri Kutia. I'm 15 years old and I live in London. I started fencing a few years ago in my school as a games option. My top two achievements, I'd say, would be winning two golds in the 2012 national event and I was part of the Sabre team that brought a bronze medal back from the Hungary World Cup. I feel my results have come about as um, lots of hard training over a number of, over a couple of years. I train technical set, I do at least three technical sessions per week. I do a lot of gym work, I do some swimming as well. Uh, I've got all the help from my coaches, I've got all the lessons, and I'm sure they are one of the biggest factors contributing to my success so far. My goals for the future are ultimately winning a medal in the Rio 2016 Paralympics. My disability is a spinal cord injury, T4 level. I chose wheelchair fencing because I've always been fascinated by, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean films, just, you know, those general swashbuckling films. And when I came to my school, St. Benedict's, and I found that fencing was an option for the games, I snatched it up. It's something I've always wanted to try. And to be honest, now I'm very, very glad I did. When I'm not fencing, I'm usually occupied in some other way. I've just I'm coming to the end of my uh, to, I'm coming to the end of year ten at school. Uh, next year is my GCSE year, so I'll be having to balance this fencing and the work next year, but it's manageable. In my free time, I'm usually around with my friends, my mates. We just go out, have a laugh. I see my girlfriend sometimes. Fencing is a huge part of my life, especially now in the lead up to Rio 2016. But I couldn't have gotten here without the support of many, many people and organisations. I'd like to thank the British Disabled Fencing Association for helping me uh, and my teammates to strive towards our goals, uh, helping us get to our competitions, helping us with our training, helping us just keep organised. I'd like to thank UK Sport for providing, giving us the motif to go forwards and do even better than we've been doing before. I'd like to thank my friends and my family for the unending support that they've given me. I'm very sure I wouldn't have gone nearly as far as I have now without their support and their constant cheering behind me. Finally, I'd like to thank Beasley. Beasley are a huge organisation. They've, they've clearly helped fencing in so many ways. Uh, they've given us wonderful opportunities to come out here. They've given us the opportunity to raise the profile of our sport, which is, in my opinion, something fencing really, really needs, because it's a great sport. It needs, it should be known to the general public. It's a fantastic sport, but we wouldn't be able to do this without the support of someone like Beasley.